Thursday things we're making Thursday things we're making Thursday yeah Hi everybody, my name is Shannon and welcome to my channel, Another Yarn. Today is Thursday. It has been a busy, busy day, week. Oh my gosh, it really has. November the 30th, Thursday, getting this video out late, but it's here. I'm doing it. Things we're making Thursday. This has been a year-long collaboration of a plethora of wonderful YouTube content creators. And the concept has been a pattern is chosen and it's a free pattern. So a pattern is chosen and then we're all making the same thing throughout the month. And you can join in. You don't have to be a content creator. You can just say, hey, I want to play. And by all means, do so. Um, Heather from Strings and Threads previously was collecting up all the pictures that were put on the Facebook group. Oh, yes, there's a Things We're Making Thursday Facebook group. Feel free to join. I'll have that information down below. But what she was doing is she was collecting up all those pictures and making a slideshow at the end of the month, which was absolutely wonderful. But the group's growing and other time obligations have really set in. And she's not going to do, continue doing that throughout the new year. But that's okay. She's done it for this last year. Please go check out her channel. Scroll through and find those. And you can see all the wonderful creations that everyone's done. Uh, you can also, like I said, go on the Facebook page. There's over 300 people on the Facebook group. If you've got questions about the pattern we're doing, you can find them there and you know questions answers etc we're a good group it's you don't have to be really strict i'm making this it has to be exactly like the pattern eh, we're all relaxed this month it is the final thursday of the month and that's where we'll generally everyone's a little different but we'll generally show off hey i've completed my project for the month this is what it looks like and it's also when we announce the next project so this uh, month we were working on this cute little turkey and this is by grace and yarn and i'll have her link down below too and i changed things because well of course i did the uh, the wings that were on it originally were are the uh, the feathers on it originally look very much like the wings just a little bit longer and they had like four or five of them and they'd spread out in the back and they're just really cute and and um Erin from Crafting Kitty was commenting on with hers that when she did that, she had some striping yarn and she was kind of in her mind was picturing the feathers going up and down like that. And that's not how the pattern went because it was very much like this, you know, so it was around in circles. So then the, the colors didn't show the same, but it got me thinking, look, oh my goodness. So I made some up and down. I kind of went off on my own tangent. It's what I do and just did some stuff and i'm calling it feathers yes i'm calling i'm calling it done and i'm calling it feathers and that is my unique way like and you can even put it down <laughs> you know more like a chicken like the way it goes i think it's cute it'll be fun to play with and this is my turkey lots of character i do love the fact that i put on the blue and the brown eye to me that is just the cutest thing i like the little flame you know i mean hey during Thanksgiving time, you got to be the fastest turkey if you're going to get away. So here's my little turkey. I did finish. I did put my own flair on it because isn't that what we do when we're creators? We put our own flair. A pattern's a suggestion. You can do anything you want. And I did. So that was a lot of fun. I enjoy that. Uh, do you want to see what we're going to make next month? Well, it's December. And in December, we're busy. We're really busy. If you're a crafter and you're trying to make things for Christmas presents, oh my gosh, you know how busy we are. So this month it was chosen to make a very simple, very small, easy ornament, right? And it is the snow globe ornament. And that is by Sarah Zimmerman. And she is a published author. She's got quite a few books out there. You might actually have one of them. If you like your crochet books and magazines, you might. Look at this one. Do you recognize that? Crochet Critters by Sarah Zimmerman. You know what's really cool about that? If you don't have it and you have Kindle Unlimited, oh yes, look, right now, today is 30 November. 2023 and you can get that 
already included for your Kindle Unlimited if you choose to, right? So you can look at some of her other designs and some of her other patterns and look at her style and make a bunch of things. So yeah, this, this month we're working on the Snow Globe Christmas ornament. And I went looking on her stuff. So not only do we have that snow globe, I'm kind of, you know, if we're going to do some Christmas ornaments, I hadn't seen anything like this. She has a turkey one too. Look at that. It's a little snowman with a pouch in there to put your little candy canes, etc. But it's a cute little free pattern. I'll probably have to make some of those too. I mean, it's that time of year. Might as well have fun. So the other thing that I wanted to discuss, not only are we doing, you know, um, Sarah Zimmerman's Christmas or the snow globe this month, you know, to kind of give us a little bit of a break. Those you can make in any yarns you choose to. You can put them on packages. You can turn, you know, the Christmas ornaments, make it as yarn, do it as thread, whatever you want. There's a lot of options. Well, in the coming year, we're continuing things we're making Thursday. And if you want to join in, use the hashtag, hashtag uh, T for things, uh, TWMT. Yeah, TWMT, things we're making Thursday. That's the hashtag. And feel free to join in. There's going to be a list, and I'll post that. I'll probably post it in my January video. But a list of each month, a new topic. So it's a theme. Like, remember when we did the pumpkins? Um, we did pumpkins, and there was one or two patterns that were picked, but a lot of us went out, not only did we do some of those patterns, we went and grabbed patterns of our own, different pumpkins that we thought would be fun that, yeah, like this one. This one wasn't necessarily one of, of a specific things we're making Thursday. This is uh, by Jennifer from Cinnamon Stitches. This is her bumpy pumpkin. Really a lot of fun, love making this. So, you know, doing things along that line, it got everyone thinking, Themes were fantastic and everyone came up with different ideas and different ways of making things. So I'll be posting that in my January video of the themes throughout the entire year so you can plan and prepare and be part of it and uh, pick a pattern that really sings to you. Because, hey, let's face it, when somebody picks, somebody else picks a pattern, it might sing to me and it might not sing to you. So this is a way that you can still play, you can still have fun, we're still going to join in as a group and see what everyone else is making and oh my gosh the creativity that is going to come from this group is absolutely amazing i just cannot wait to see not only the christmas ornaments but in the months to come all the other items that everyone's going to be making oh it's going to be so much fun yeah so here's my this this was my um October and November for things we're making Thursday. And now I'm going to have Christmas ornaments coming up for December. All right, everybody. I hope this helps out and have fun. Be creative. Do something. Add one stitch to something. You've got this. And I'm going to go ahead and talk to you guys later because I got to go make dinner. <laughs> Bye, everybody.